welcome everybody to a new episode on the channel Frostpunk 2. Alright, so to give you guys a bit of a lowdown, I brought this ages ago, just like everybody else probably, and I basically I was going to stream it as soon as it came out, but life, life happened here at the Life of Cola and family and we got a little bit busy and I couldn't stream it on the day that it came out now I did that night I couldn't sleep so I came and I played a little bit and it was the prologue and I haven't really played anything after that so I kind of know the basics which is not like me normally I love to make videos where you guys are we going blind uh, but I was just I was really wanting to play it and basically basically i want to make just a series of it and we'll we'll go through because you know frostpunk 1 i did the series it didn't really go very well but frostpunk 2 has just come out it might it might give us some traction might get some subs might get some lovely people coming in and watching other things that are on the channel so if you are one of those lovely people drop us a, a sub a like a comment whatever you want to do but come along for the ride so what we're going to do is we are going to go story. Now, I already played around with the prologue, like I said, but what we're going to do is we're going to do chapter one. Now, I'm going to start it from the start again, uh, because I, I obviously prologue it. When you finish prologue, it moves you straight into chapter one. Like, you have no choice. You just go straight in, and then I read a bit of the dialogue, and then I stopped. And then I had to do some work. <laughs> and so I've come back to it, and I thought, I'll start again so you guys can see what it starts like. And the difficulty we are going to, what are we going to do? Uh, we are civilian. Um, open the details window for the game setup. Difficulty is civilian. Yes. Oh, that's right. I think I did it as civilian because I wanted to, oh, I didn't know you could change, I couldn't change that once you were into it. Huh. All right. I would probably have to obviously start a whole new story to change into something else. Anyway, we can do that if you guys like it, and we can we can go into a dif better difficulty or whatever it is. So let's get into it. Let's play it, and you guys tell me what it's like, uh, video-wise, with likes and comments and all that kind of stuff. And maybe we'll just chuck it in as a once a week thing, and I'll just pop it pop it down somewhere along with Factorio. So. <sighs> Right. Come on, load. Thank you. Computer's like having a hemorrhage. I love the stuff that they just loom out of the dark. So cool. Press to begin. Okay, so let's pause. Pause. Okay, let's pause. So, oh, it's continuing where I left off. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna, I didn't really do anything. All I did was I constructed a coal vent over here. Here we go. So coal district, okay? And then I left this going, this was housing. So what we're gonna do is, just to let you guys know, oh good God, just to let you know, the city has gotten to disrepair because the captain, who's the who's the big honcho, he has died and he's left me, good God, I hope these people know who they've left in charge. They've left me, Cola, as the steward. And so I've got to get the city back up and running make it all bustling and stuff like that and keep the generator from going out now it's oh, it's so different from frostpunk one and i love it so much but man it's it's taxing on my brain to try and figure out what the go is with everything uh, a mate of mine hugh he he might watch this i don't know hi hugh he said that he's been doing it on like he's finished the story and he said it's crazy like you can sometimes get to a point where because of your choices you can't go any further because you've kind of backed yourself into a corner <laughs> so yeah that's gonna that's gonna be fun anyway so what we're doing is you you have to break ice so down here it's it's frost break and what that does is when you click on it you get these areas and see everything after the great well, the frostpunk one is everything was covered in ice and except these cities that kind of thrived and they had their own little things but now we're trying to break out and we're trying to get resources and all this kind of stuff out here but you can't just plonk down stuff like we did in frostpunk one you have to break the ice towards it so you click on where you want to go now this is going to cause a problem because i don't know why i can't get over here so we might have to just break the ice currently like this so yeah and you have to break eight of them in one go and then you get this little tick and you set it going and it breaks the ice okay 
that's not what I want to do. Cancel that. So what we need to do is we kind of need to start. We kind of need to start doing a few things like we need coal. We need resources. We need see, look, if I zoom right out, these are plants. So this is your food. This is your abandoned prefabs or abandoned ruins. So that's kind of like metals and stuff. At the moment, I have 1,950 of them food wise or no, that's not food. It's food food here. I'm in apparently in a negative. So I'm going down. So I need to get my butt out there and get some food. But yeah, let's have a look at that. And I'm currently in a negative of that. So you want to be in the gold. So see how the 74 is flashing red. You want that to be gold because that means that you are in uh you're overproducing that resource so people are happy at the moment i'm under producing that resource and people are not very happy so and that's the same with the the shelter there is 108 people that demand shelter <laughs> of course i would too it's freaking cold out there but i'm only providing 70 of that so 38 people are not really liking it so that's why i have started making more housing districts down here and the more you clump them together the warmer they're going to be that's the cool thing about it is obviously you want to have it as close as possible to the furnace but if you can't the more you clump them together so i had one here and then i see i've put this one around the outside like that and it should keep like a heat in there and that was one of my things i had to do housing districts to address the problem of shelter so let's unpause that let that carry on excuse me i said unpause oh i'm still cross breaking hold on there we go cool so we'll wait for this to do that this has come up what's this the generator wakes a child is born Ooh. people gather around the generator tower as it wakes with a thundering shudder and bestows heat on us yet again this is the heart of the city our last line of defense against the cold our first hope for a future any future steward there's a couple that's me me by the way i'm steward <laughs> not Stuart. I'm Stuart. Cola. Stuart Cola. There's a couple who say their first child, a daughter, was born at the exact moment the generator sprung into life. Do you know why? It's because when it sprung into life, she like popped it popped out like a bloomin' like Pringles can. It was a once it pops, you can't stop it. Alright. Anyway, they they called her Lily. A Lily May. Alright. They ask that you bless her you give us hope back thanks to you our child may have may yet have a future right very well lily may i bless you isn't that lovely yeah she must have got a fright that's why she did it at the exact same time but that's right okay so this is nearly done so housing district is just it just takes time and i love if you look at we zoom in here see the little lines it's either people rushing around because this this looks like it's going really fast but it, it's it's not it's just going like normal speed but there's like people bustling 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 around there's um, all the things are happening heat producing all over the place and now we want this district to come to life and give us positive for that come on Good work, Stuart. Uh, we have secured a new coal deposit. It's part of the last... Wait, I, I didn't do that. I, I I did housing. Okay, never mind. The last vein of the New London. It's part of the last vein in New London. There are still some deposits left, but they won't last for long. We'll need to improve our mining to use it efficiently. But the city's communities are voicing different ideas about how to do it. We need to decide whose ideas are worth pursuing. You must pick a solution. Right. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, we're still 18 people still don't have shelter. So here's our new one. Scraping the barrel. Expand an existing housing district. So we need to, I presume, zoom in, expand. Okay. So it's under the under the, the menu is so if you click on the housing district it's here and we expand it we need 50 heat stamps and 50 prefabs so the more things i make the more it takes heat away from the generator etc etc love it right build <clears throat> build a research institute 
research an idea for new coal mines okay and then construct the newly researched building right let's let's upgrade this one because this is the closest right uh shelter from the wind oh wait what what do we gotta do go back go, stop it yeah i'm presuming uh but no hold on hold on we're going to expand that one's already been expanded okay never mind hold on this one can we expand this one yes we can sheltered from the wind oh here we go one two three awesome so that's going to shelter it from the wind that way i see so now that's expanding lovely these guys are already sheltered obviously because they're down in the bottom but these guys not so much this thing here is our coal so it's got 139,000 coal remaining so that's only 166 weeks at our current rate of burning it obviously that changes stuff like that so we need to go down here here's our construction districts so this is where we construct housing districts food districts extraction districts industries and logistics and then this one is our research institute so where do we put that i have no idea uh we must have to put it in here somewhere but maybe do i have to wait for it excuse me i'd like to just put this down thank you very much uh nope can't nope can't put it anywhere okay well we'll wait for that to expand Maybe that's a thing. Uh, right. Can we speed it up a tiny bit? Whoa, that bursted into life. Awesome. Now, I haven't... There is some factions. So if we pause. Pause. There is some factions down here. You've got the Frostlanders community. And I am in a neutral relationship with them. And they are 43%. We have got the Faith Keepers. I am in a favorable relationship with them and the size of them is 12%. And I have the new Londoners, new Londoners. <laughs> I'm neutral with them and their size is 45%. So they are a little bit bigger than these guys, but I don't think they like each other. Just saying. It greatly increases, increased by fear and running out of coal. Oh, that is the tension minor okay that's this is my uh-oh circle in the middle uh, as in like if that thing gets to the boiling point we, we're screwed so let's let's go let's go un undo again and we'll speed this up do, 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 do. Oh. we get little pop-ups like this so six are registered as sick so that means that they've got sick by either doing in the district or just being in general and then <laughs> i think in the prologue it popped up and said like you've killed a 60 people froze to death and i was like oh, oh no so it stopped my housing shortage but yeah it wasn't very good for the the fear <laughs> right so that is done awesome we've done that lovely let's get this and i think yes i thought so we had to wait for it to be expanded to do it so we'll click there we'll plonk it down there and we're upgrading this to a research area so we'll press pause unpause and we will do that again now cool thing about this i just love the fact that you can look you can move around and you can like spin around to this side and you can zoom right in like there's heaps of people there you can't zoom all the way in like you could in frostpunk one but oh, institute is we need to slow that down institute is done so let's have a look a small cow, uh, crowd crowd a small crowd gathers outside the new research institute arguing about how to exploit the last coal veins the faith keepers and the new londoners want us to lean on machine powered mining but the frostlanders would have us pursue a more frugal solution they would never display such disorder under the captain's rule you have to choose who to entrust with developing their ideas okay the communities of New London have different. You may not be able to please everyone. No, show me your opinions. Let's have a look. So this is the idea tree. We need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may pose 
uh, diverging answers, different, whatever that is, to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that ally with their their worldview. Okay, I see. Right. So we have got. Oh, that's heating. Let's go Frostlanders. So they will do. Uh, fighting against the cold is fruitile. You will not give. A, what? Hold on. Uh, we will build machines to carve out place of the ice. Okay. So. Logistic bays. Wait. Oh, heating. Hold on. Sorry. Coal mines. And then we can see the different ones. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. So this is the Frostlanders. We are neutral with them. No one else shares this idea. Ooh, okay. How can we mine more coal? Dust coal mined. Are constructed in extracting districts. Okay. So mining operations where residual coal dust is sucked up and compressed into making more uh, maximizing the resource. Okay. This disease is slightly increased. 200 minerals demanded okay well so it's 150 coal output what are these guys saying squalor is increased okay so 300 workforce required 400 workforce what's this one they would drill uh, rapidly exploiting coal mines generating noxious fumes okay so coal output is 180 right interesting okay and then this one new londoners they're on the same page so they they don't mind either either okay to be honest i like the frostlanders idea because it doesn't do squalor so squalor is like a, a trait that you can have the filth grime and pollution are presented a present in the city is produced by the generator heavy machinery and poor sanitation right but they do have disease so the likelihood of that people in your city will get sick increasing as their bodies are worn down by the cold and difficult work conditions right okay so that basically but you've got less output so what does that mean 150 plus for dust coal mining a reliable tried and test tried and tested source of fuel that's for coal okay materials demanded 60 60 but that's lower materials to be honest i think we will go with the frostlanders in this playthrough research research idea here we go done they're not liking it i don't think so if we go unpause that a relations favorable neutral neutral okay that's fine research the new idea that is what is happening at the moment i think zip down here here we go that's what's happening here idea tree dust command research the idea construct the newly researched building in the extraction district okay that's over here so we will let it do its thing come on let's speed that up go what else can we do we could potentially keep your face and ears covered keep your face and ears covered okay praying to the generator generator reserved and beloved by the faith keepers okay flare uh what are we gonna do we need to break the ice a little bit more let's go frost breakers uh, we can't no hold on good, good sir we need to uh, we could frost break out to there but what we're going to do is we're probably going to frost break this way so this is materials oh yep yeah, cool we could go this way one two three four five six seven eight perfect let's do that and then cool thing about it is obviously it uses workers to do that um but then when they're not being used i think they go back into the pool i'm well, not too sure let's see they're going along with their little cool little machines and they're just chopping up all the ice making it into snow that's pretty cool all right let's speed that up and there is materials out here so 
if we go construction districts and we go extraction we can extract stuff in here like that and then maybe along here there we go so we'll be able to get all three of those resources which would be great and then it'll up this uh per day and then we should be in the okay then oh no our workers go down available workers research institute 400 housing district 400 extraction district 1200 overall 4800 okay now you can bring up the tutorial at any time by pressing t if you didn't know that and you can go through all the stuff that you have been looking at the ones that are like this as i haven't looked at them yet which is great and i like it because it's not like factoria where it pops up and it's saying hey click on here click here and then it doesn't go away it's just sitting up here tutorials kind of a little gold star but not too annoying uh right we're at 89 percent let's go 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 is this going to cause problems probably is zip it along and it should be done 98 99 100 awesome dust coal mine is new building is ready okay so is that under construct buildings extraction dust coal mine awesome so we stick it on top so we have to have a district first and then we have these things on top of it i see marginally Decreasing the opinion of the city favored our pressure. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's going to do that. Let's go through. Like when you think about it, right? You think about how cold it's got to be. Like minus 20. At the moment, some people in the world, I presume, would be, would be climatized to this. Depending on where you are. I don't know. It is currently 20 degrees here in New Zealand. So paper. it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and we get down to the minus like two or three sometimes but not minus 20 that's super cold um with the new mind the impending doom of depleting coal is postponed yet differences between the communities remain the weakening captain wanted to establish a council to settle them he didn't live to see it through it falls on you the people of new london want to say uh, say in how it's run the first decision whether you should continue to lead the city or <laughs> build the council hall need a vote of confidence okay where are we putting a council hall right in the center sure there we go let's do that this is so ah oh, here we go so see how we're in the gold now for resources and that means that i'm overproducing and everyone should be happy with that but we need that for our food supply so i might get this cross break but we're going to continue out this way i think because that's where our so that's where the closest food is no it's not it's right here so if we go one two three four five six seven eight and just get them to frost break at the moment and then hopefully that'll open up this for us to put something on it zip along come on you can build the council hall can't see any of them kicking me out just yet we can vote on a new law all right uh, the council the captain ruled with a firm hand for years but those times died with him now the communities of the city want their say of course they do the faith keepers are the only organized faction and have a strong opinion on everything they are devoted to what they claim was the late captain's vision a godly society built on progress equality and tradition the new londoners and the frostlanders crush uh, clash over our survival strategy blah, blah 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 based on your handling of the coal crisis the first decision is whether you should remain <laughs> i knew that would cause a problem open the season okay session sorry cool graphics so do i have my say 
like obviously people didn't like that i sided with the frostlanders frostlanders should should be allowed to have a say right when you return to the council in the future you will be able to process new laws to vote upon but for now a special vote needs to happen uh the committees of new london have to accept you as their leader okay be careful if you fail this will end your rule oh great awesome should the steward remain in power uh, if this vote so vote hmm hesitant even you are tolerated at the moment click on a, on a delegate to view their profile okay so these are the frostlanders uh those are the new londoners okay and these oh those are the frostlanders oh here's the faith here we go base keepers they seek to pass unlock hold him man there's so much stuff in this game it's ridiculous like the stuff that you have to think about right they are expedition supported okay and these guys are new londoners so they are city development efforts okay and then these guys have got a lot of stuff this is their manifest blah blah blah, blah of the city followers cool so what do i do what do i do do i have to like okay they seek the past this yeah i know but what am i what am i doing oh this consultant training under the city cool Who, who's this right these people cool new londoners uh, okay so delegate session voting in 10 weeks all right let's go vote vote of confidence uh oh come on yes okay cool 60 only 60 though a steward you shall remain then good there are challenges ahead expanding coal extraction is a great success but the vein will only last so long we need to explore the frostland for a permanent source of fuel permanent otherwise the city will have no future at all we must find more fuel awesome all right access to the frostlands what does that mean oh okay so we can go out further now great this is like in in number one where you put up the beacon and then you can go and explore this is this must be it so logistics district gives you access to the frostlands so keep in mind that only the, they only be constructed in place of old way station at the end of any city or colony area okay you can switch between the frostland view and the remote by the top right corner okay awesome all right how's our thing going over here frost breaking great we need food so if you guys could just do that that'd be great and then we go here and we go food district we go click and then two three four all right sweet and then done cool so that'll encumbrance all of those foods which is great and it means that we will not be in the red we will be in the gold hopefully okay so what are we doing we're doing this construction logistics district right sends chartered expeditions to the frostlands okay so i can only stick it like here near food district okay what so no can't stick it there do we stick it right at the end maybe not hold on uh frostlands the city and the colony outposts heat Lands team. Okay, good set. We need to stick you somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. Exposed to wind. No shelter. Okay. I uh, sh shoot. I may have stuffed up. Okay, maybe I can't do it yet because I need a frost breaker. 
let's cross break some more. So we'll do across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We might want them there. Do some more frost break. And another one. So let's do it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Do some on that side as well. <gasps> what do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon of the game so far? It looks cool. It looks very cool and I'm very excited to do it. Uh and have it on the channel. I'm definitely gonna do this this chapter anyway for the channel and i will do a few videos until it's ended and then we will see how well it went if i carry on to the next chapters like because you guys want to see it but i can't make it unless you guys show me you want to see it you know what i mean like so like comment subscribe any of those things but we will give it a break here uh we'll put a cut in and we'll catch you guys in the next episode but this one here we, we made we, we made some friends little little friends we lost a little bit with them and they're okay and they're still they're still favorable that's fine neutral neutral that's all good but yeah let's see how we go <laughs> oh wait let's let's see if we go into the gold uh, go and stop did we go into the gold no not yet okay we're, we're nearly there 24 so we'd have to make more I'd have to make more... Ooh, what's that? Ooh, fertile soil. Oh, that must be out. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight. Cool. We'll do that as well. Because there's some food over there. And that should put us into a gold. All right. You guys have a good rest of your night, day, whatever it is that you are doing currently while you are watching or listening to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.